Yeah, you know what's really what's really hit me is the kind of stripping down quality that both Matt and Eric and the rest of the creative team is really going for. You know, just almost like if we think of this as like you know your you know grunge music, like it's like the unplugged version of this big massive you know uh, iconic piece. And what happens when you kind of unplug the, 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 the you know, amplification of everything, you know? Um, and I think what, I'm, what I've learned is, is um, so far in this process is, you know, finding those moments where Sweeney's um, less amplified moments uh, are, where they live, and how those less amplified moments then feed into organically into the the more robust and, and, and bigger moments in terms of tone and energy. You know, if I were pushed to that point where my family and my child was taken away and I was hauled away for you know no reason, you know, how would I react? It's more relevant today than ever. I think. I mean, if you if you ex you know if you ex you know really peer into the thematic elements of this, the class systems, the oppressed and the oppressor, um, and, um, and all grounded again in that, you know, in that um, simple story of a father who, who has been wronged, unjustly wronged, and, uh, um, and his attempts, as feeble as they are, to try to normalize the situation. I don't think I come in. I don't think Sweeney comes into London, hell bent on just, you know, murderous uh, a spree. I think he initially just wants to see where his wife is, and where his his daughter is. He wants to. He wants a second chance. I think. I think what I'm really excited for the audience to see is how each individual in this cast was chosen to contribute in in serving up the story. And how each cast is so beautiful in their their personal disposition, and they have they have the energy and the passion to truly make this a unique experience for the audience.